Mm. Hopefully not. What, apar what apartment number? <laughs> we haven't been called here yet. So. <clears throat> Just gonna keep away from the pool with the brick, right? Seven. Police department, come to the door. Colorado Springs Police Department, come to the door, please. see here. Hello. 106, come to the door. We need to speak with you. I don't got to worry about them, right? Come to the door now. I can't hear you. You're saying you're not trespassing, so come to the door so we can speak and iron this out. The court reviewed and considered. Hi, how are you? Hi, hey, how are you doing, man? My name is Officer Solid, my partner is Colorado. Yes, please. So, we're going to ask straight off, there's reports of weapons and two of you in here. Are there any weapons in this house so nothing gets out of hand? How many people would you be? Three. Only right, three. Yeah, are you the only person inside of here? I'm the only person here right now. Okay, and okay. Are, there, are there any weapons in the house? It's cool if there is. I just want to know what they are. We have a weapon, we have a, a gun, yes. Where's the gun? It's not on me right now, it's on my husband. Okay, and your husband's not here? Not right now. Okay. So, um, so what's going on? You're coming here to put me out, right? I have proof that I'm supposed to be here. This is a lease from the state secretary saying I'm supposed to be here. Here, here. I'll be talking about uh, The writ that they came in here and put me out with says on the writ, this is not a court move out order. And they put all that stuff out, and it says they're right there on the writ that I'm not supposed to move out. I went to the courthouse. Yep. And I um I asked the clerk, was there a writ put on me? Two of them said there was no eviction this year. I had a order for me. Five different clerks at the courthouse. I asked them all. And them to contact code four. They said no. I showed them a picture of that writ that they put on this room to put me out. And they said, where did they get the writ from? I said, do you not have that writ in your record? Uh -huh. And they said, no. So the eviction, did the sheriff so come out in March? So the sheriff did. came out here. Yep. Um, uh, are you, uh, is it fat? It's, it's fat young coyote, it's hard to say. Miss Ward? Yes, that's easier. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to go, my partner's got this paperwork here. This is the actual court documentation, okay? Uh, and what this is... Yeah, that says Cowley came dismissed. Well, right. this is... That's the court case, mm -hmm. okay? It's in Division 14, the court's docket number. I'm going to go out to my car, and I'm going to go look and see what the judge actually says in the court records. This piece of paper that they sent us, this really doesn't have a whole lot of information. Yeah, that's what... And I'm going to tell you... Uh, that's how they got me out the first I, time. I, I'm going to tell you 
this mm -hmm. lease, as far as the police are concerned, we don't care this about. Is the whole civil no, matter, right? we don't care about leases. So I will give you that back. But okay. this is proof that I'm supposed to be here. I no, order. like I said, we don't care about leases. Let me go see what the court says. Okay, and, but and, make sure the court order is the correct order. What, whatever the judge the puts it. Order to put me out of here. I, I'm going to go look at what the judge actually writes. Okay. Okay, but what I'm trying to tell you is that there are multiple orders. They did have an eviction on me. It was a default judgment. When I went to court, because I never got notified, the court canceled the order. So we have a, they we have a database which shows all of the court's motions. What, what, what we actually have is court records. Cool. And that's what I'm going to go look at. Can we try that down for you? Yeah, I just want to write. You just tell me where it is. I, I can't hardly understand what you say, let alone write. <laughs> two zero two three. Charlie Victor two nine. C V two nine. I think I've already got that. Uh, yes. That's why I'm recording because I'm by yeah. myself. So I'm sure I'm sure I'm I'll be right back. Call Sam Hausman. Calling Samuel Hausman home. Hey, it's Hallis. You uh, got you got a minute? Yeah. Are you at a computer? I am. Can you log into Colorado Courts real quick, and I'll give you the the help help. Look, two uh, four eyes are well. I got glasses. You got uh, eight eyes are better than two. <laughs> Who am I looking up? Uh, look up this case number. It's two thousand twenty-three. Okay. Charlie Victor, mm -hmm. twenty-nine, and it's a civil case, and it's a, actually a suppressed case. So. We came up, we're coming out here because apparently, according to the property management, these people got evicted uh, mid March. And now she has video of them coming in here with the locksmith, changing out the locks and moving back in. And she's, oh, yeah, you guys can kick the door in. You guys, I want them out of there. And so the lady answers the door and she's, oh, I've not been legally evicted. And so the. Uh, paperwork that the management sent via text message to uh, Salter is, is vague as, and 
it, it's very vague. It doesn't it doesn't say anything about really eviction. And when I'm looking at this, I'm not really, I mean, one, uh, this says the, court, the, the case is suppressed. Right. Uh, and then when I, even when I open it up and I'm looking at it, uh, the ruling is, is something's granted, but everything's suppressed. So I'm not knowing, I'm not sure on what we... This is all civil uh, until right. we until you know we can prove that uh, is somebody legally trespass you know, or le illegally trespassing here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'm reading through what went down in February. I'm just gonna ask Salter real quick. Mm. Add him to the ninety-five. Can you forward me? A copy of what was sent to you by management. Yeah, so that all looks like it has to do with uh, records too. Mm. Like the what I would take the what I'm assuming is back rent. That uh, says she owed seven thousand seven hundred eighty three dollars and fifty cents, and then she appealed that, and she had done a counterclaim, and it looks like the court basically the the judge set aside the judgment against her, and dismissed the counterclaim. Like basically everything's. Came is how I read it. But I see nothing about um, eviction. I see where it says she refuses to give up the property, but I never see or ever approved. That's that that's that's why I think I'm a little I, I just wanted to double check with somebody because I just sent you so this is I just sent you a text with what the management sent Salter. And all it is is the order to dismiss a counterclaim. Well, he just sent me another picture that I didn't see earlier, but I will... I just forwarded you another picture I got, and this is a writ. Well, once again, it's a writ of restitution. Same case number. I can't read it because I can't read it because it's so small. But it's referencing the same. Uh, Yeah, that does get blurry when you zoom it. it yeah, the only uh, thing I the only thing I can make out is uh, the a writ of restitution and the docket number is the same as the one we're looking at. I can't even see if there's a date on here that would reference what we're looking at on the. Oh, so on the one below that, the pink form, that's the one. It shows the deputy completed the eviction on March 22nd. Any attempts to enter will constitute trespass. Okay. I, 
Okay, I see that now down there. Mm -hmm. Let me look where that is compared to the case activity from here. So that's more than two weeks after the last entry on here. So that would be the most recent date. The only thing I find suspicious is that it's whited out and then rewritten. Yeah. I wonder if EPSO dispatch would have a record of this E. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because that's the only thing that has me kind of nervous is did the landlord change that date to try and pull a fast one. Okay, let me call Sheriff Dispatch and see if they can shed some light on the eviction complaint of this property has been restored. Any attempt to enter will constitute trespass and can't read anything else after that. And I, I'm with you. I don't like this whited out date. Let me let me call episode dispatch and see if they can shed any light on this. Okay. I'll call you back in a few minutes. I, I'd say if that's the most up to date, then you're probably good. But the uh, the red one. Yeah, if that March twenty second is good, then we're probably good to go. If EPSO, because I would trust, I'd say that's good faith. Mm. If EPSO says, yes, we did a legal eviction there on March 22nd, and we don't see anything in courts more recent than that, then I would fall on that. Let me call the EPSO and see if they shed any more light, and I'll, I'll yield back at you. Okay. All right, thanks. You breach the El Paso County Regional Communications Center, located at Hi, this is Corporal Howes, Colorado Springs Police. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Christina. Christina, how are you doing this evening? Good, how are you? Good. I'm wondering if you can help me out. I'm trying to get some information. Mm -hmm. uh, we're out on a possible trespass situation. It's all... Kind of, it's kind of civil. We're, we're trying to determine if it's civil or criminal, and it has to do um, with a, an eviction. Okay. And I uh, don't know if you might have something in your records. Uh, if, can I give you an address? Yeah. 1832 Birmingham Loop, apartment 106. Okay. So, what were you needing exactly with so that? So, we're uh, an eviction. Your deputies do a actual eviction out here sometime around yes. March. And when was that? Um, let's see. I have one on March fifteenth for that address. What was that executed on that day or? 
not complete. He said, waiting on further updates from court. That's the last um, note in the call screen. March 15th? Yes, sir. It's waiting for... Waiting on further updates from court is what the note says. Uh, do you show anything after that? Mm, let me double check. Because I, all I got is a blurry picture of a red piece of paper that basically says this is an eviction from El Paso County Sheriff's Department. The problem is down on the bottom corner, it's got where the date is. It's whited out, and the date is March 22nd. Okay, yeah, I just found another one, um, and it says posted slash complete on the 22nd of March. Um, but there's nothing after it that says that it's posted and complete. Eviction com that party at that address. Eviction complete? Yes, sir. Uh, what's, do you have the deputy's name by chance? Yeah, let me get you their contact info. I just need it so I can put it on my, 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 my site here that the eviction was completed on the 22nd by deputy. Yeah, Deputy McClellan, M-C-C-L-E-L-L-A-N. Okay, you don't know his badge number, do you? Uh, 11022. 11022. Uh, thank you, I really appreciate your help. Of course, if there's anything else, just give us a call back. I will. <laughs> you have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye. Yeah, it's Hollis. So, uh, they do have a record of March 15th. They went out, but they did not do it. Uh, they have notes that they were, uh, waiting on update information from the court and on march 22nd uh deputy mcclellan came out to the residence and completed the eviction process so uh they're out yep so you're good that is a good trespass so all right well if they won't leave then i guess we're going to be arrest, making arrests so sounds good yeah. All right, just letting you know. Thank you, sir. Yep. Bye. The yes, I so I called. Uh, I, I looked it up myself, and I called our supervisors at the duty desk. So they're looking at the same thing I am, 
and all that mm. docket number, a lot of it that a lot of that is about restitution. Okay, so we can't go off the restitution side, but uh, whatever happened in this somewhere along the lines on March fifteenth, the El Paso County Sheriff, who does the eviction, right? Mm -hmm. They came out, but they did not do the eviction because they received information from the court. And so until they received information, so they stopped whatever they were doing, no eviction. They did come out on March 22nd. That red form, okay? Mm -hmm. That red form that came out, they did the eviction. It's legal. And uh, if you want, you have to take this up with the court and with the sheriff's department, okay? I did. I did. I have done that. As of right now. As of right now, but the, hold on, sir. You did. Sure. Can you continue? Can you respect me? Yes, ma'am. You said the writ that they came back on the 22nd was the real thing? The eviction that they did on the 22nd is the real thing. They left on the 15th because they couldn't prove what they were saying. They had a paper. It said this is from February the 2nd. I said, can I see the paper? The sheriff said, no. She called her paralegal. The paralegal said, you cannot evict them. On the 15th. Yes. So they came back on the 22nd. And I said, okay, you have the paperwork. Because number one, I said, I invoke my Americans with Disabilities right. I need an ADA advocate. She refused it. I said, so you're violating my rights right there because you're not going to understand what I'm saying. And I don't understand what you're saying. So I need an advocate because I do have a disability. She refused that. When she came back the, um, the second time on the 22nd, I said, do you have your advocate with you? She said, no. She forced her way in. I said, y'all don't have a right to come in here. Can I see the writ of restitution? You have to give it to me. She refused to give it to me. Okay. I said, hope you have to. No, you can't put me out without the paperwork. The, right? the, that is all civil, right? You are correct, right? Right. That is something that the sheriff's department, that's why we don't do it, because it's a civil process. That's the sheriff. I'm going to tell you straight up, I do not know all of the process that goes in with an eviction. But I but do. I, that's between you and them. Right. What this we, is between me and them. But I'm, uh, Ms. Ward. I didn't finish what I was saying, though. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. What I was saying, what I showed them, yes, I showed y'all on that writ of restitution, it said this is not a court order to move out. It says that on it. It says about the financial part, but it does not say move out because I have an uh, um, arrangement with them. I'm telling you, they're a Okay. Did you see that the case was dismissed? No. Mm. I seen that it was suppressed. You saw that it was suppressed. Part of it was suppressed. Oh. But, okay, now I'm no, going to. Right Miss Ward, Miss Ward, Miss Ward, Miss Ward. I'm going Ward. Mm -hmm. I'm to I'm tell you what we look at now, okay? We have nothing to do with the civil por portion of that. What we are dealing with right now, okay, uh, we as police officers are allowed to act on what is called good faith knowledge, okay? Let me finish. Right now, this is you have been evicted. All the information I've got, no, all, all of the information I have is you guys were evicted legally on the 22nd of March. So right now, I'm asking you, I'm asking you to either, we got two choices. You, you can voluntarily get your stuff together and leave, or if you refuse, then we will place you under arrest. So you're gonna arrest me when you Ma'am, ma'am, you don't you don't need to throw those are the options that I have right now. Because the information I've got is is that you are here illegally, which is a trespass, which yes, you can be arrested for. I can be arrested for proof that I have That is stuff after you get arrested, Miss Ward, after you get arrested, then you go to court. And that's when you bring up all this stuff. But that's not stuff we're, we deal with I right now. I don't consent to you arresting me. Uh, you don't have to. I'm you don't have to. With you. you don't have to. I'm a private citizen. I'm not a public citizen. Are you going to gather your personal belongings and leave? Yeah, I need to call somebody from me. Okay.
Not today. Can you, can you try to call Gus with me on the three-way? Why? Because the cops is here. They're trying to lock me up. Oh, my God. Okay. So can you call him, please? Lord, hold on. Do you need me to come to your house? No, I don't want you nowhere near. If you can help, if you can, if she can no, help you move out. She's a child. She's a child. Call, call your dad, please, on the three-way. What do you have besides just this property here? Am I taking up too much of your time? Well, I'm honestly, I'm not going to sit here all night and wait for you to have uh, wait. For, I'm not going to sit here and wait all night for you to have your friends come and pick all your stuff up. That is correct. Yes, we heard. Hello. Mm. See, Nana. Can you come? Can you come over here real quick? We're in the car. Um, is Tay home yet? The cops is here. They're trying to lock me up. No, we it gave we, we gave you choices. You said the court case was suppressed. You can't we gave you choices. So you choices either. He saying, you want to call the he's, management he's so saying, they can change the locks? Call the management to change the locks. Yes, because the second we all leave here, we're gonna have management change the locks. So they're doing what they keep doing. They see the proof that they're not supposed to be doing this, and they keep doing it. So he said that the case that he just looked up in his paperwork is suppressed. If it's suppressed, then that means you can't see what happened. I have paperwork, and they don't care. So just come over here, because I'm getting pissed off. See, and they see they, they, see, they in here again, going through my shit. I have already lost everything. I see you in here. I can't even hear you. No. I can't even hear you, baby. Huh? Yes. I am relaxing. They banged on the door. I didn't invite them in the house because I didn't want them in the door with my business outside. Because that's what they're not getting is a cease and disorder with the police and the sheriff's department. They keep doing that shit. All right, so I see you when you get here. I got to get dressed. I have no clothes on. I'll see you when you get here.
Does she have a lot of stuff in there? Does she have a lot of stuff in there? No, I mean furniture or anything, or just bags of. There's like a bed back there and stuff. You know, police do not have immunity for their actions. You don't. Twenty dash two one seven. You do not have immunity for your actions. I'm telling you what you're doing is illegal. I don't consent to what you're doing, and you're still trying to tell me you're gonna lock me up. That's that's outrageous. You didn't take the bathroom. Please get out, please. Just so the bathroom is set, so you can go Hello? Why do you keep asking me that? Is that not my way? What's going on is I'm fucking tired of them extorting me. I'm tired of it. So that's what's going on, young woman. Your sister's coming over here. I'm not going to get... This is why y'all asses don't have nothing. To Listen, you better let it go. This is why y'all niggas don't have shit now. Because y'all keep letting these white people come in with their guns and get you off your shit. Girl, I ain't, I ain't with it right now. I don't give a fuck about this apartment. You don't get the take from me. You don't call me. Don't call me. Miss Ward, I'm going to give you my, my card. My daughter is coming to get me out. That's okay. what you want, right? Yes, ma'am. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is my business card. On the bottom of the business card, I've wrote the call screen number that reflects the situation today. I've also added the deputy, his name and his information, as well as the date that, according to all the information that I've got, the date that you were legally evicted out of here. So you can take this. So what's that date? What's that date I was, at least I was legally evicted out of here? What's, what was that date? March 22nd. Mm -hmm. The same, the, the same date that showed on that red piece of paper in that picture that I got from this wherever. Is, this is not a move out order. Where was that picture came from? Okay. The one that said this is not a move out order. Ma'am, so, here's where we're at, okay? This, we're, 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 we're not arguing anymore. Cool. You're, I told you my daughter's on the way. She's okay. five minutes from so here. So you can start piling up your stuff outside. We're going to get this rolling now. We have to go out. Okay, we can't spend here all day. Okay. So I'm going to ask that you please start gathering your belongings and put them outside the door so we can get this rolling. Okay, we've already spent a, a pretty probably about an hour here by now. Okay, so we checked all of our boxes. This is where we're at now. So can you please start moving your items out? Okay, we are giving you this opportunity. We are affording you this opportunity. So please take it and start putting your items outside. Okay, we're not playing any more games. We're not arguing anymore. 
You're not playing any more games? You're not arguing with me? You think I'm arguing with you? No. You're just a, 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 you're expressing your opinion, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes. This is, this is what I'm saying. Y'all see me cooperating. And all I'm asking you to do is be fucking, you're trying to enforce the law. So if you're trying to enforce the law, why are you not enforcing the law? Ma'am, I am. You just said it was so Ma'am, ma'am. Don't tell me to shut up again. Because that's what you said with me, and I'm not going to. I'm going to keep saying it because I'm recording all this shit. So when we all go to court, because I'm going to report y'all to internal affairs, because I just told you. That's, that's, why, that's why I gave you my information. That don't mean nothing. Y'all always give us information when y'all kill our black ass and all that. You give all your information, but you still do it. And I feel like, I feel like you read that paper. You see it says this is not a move out order. And you went into the records that you said. I took you it were a step. I took. I took it a step further, and I called the sheriff's department. The one who illegally evicted me. They gave you me the information, and I'm telling you, what did I tell you earlier, ma'am? I told you I'm going off of good faith on information that I have, which is what I am allowed to do as a police officer. Mm -hmm. The information I have is given to me on good faith, and that's why we're going this route. So good faith in the sheriff's department, right? Yes, ma'am. trying to understand. Yes. It's, it's okay that I understand what you're saying to me, right? Yes, ma'am. You said the good faith of the sheriff's department, right? The good faith of all the information that I had received. From the sheriff's department? From all, everybody. You as well. I'm going to put, when we go out to our car, I'm going to put in notes in that number that I gave you that, according to you, you were illegally evicted. It says it on the paperwork. You just no, said that's what, good faith. No, that's it what. It says this is not a move-out order. It said that. The clerk of court, your officers just heard the clerk says, there's no eviction on me. Did you not just hear that? At this time of night? Did you hear night? the clerk say it? When was that recording? Yesterday morning. Okay, well, I'm sorry. The information that I got tonight is your... Well, March 22nd, you said. No, that's, well, that's what it's dated. But I'm telling you, the information I got right now, and I'm not taking your recording as... Good information. Or the legal document that you're looking at that says that this is not a move out order. Did you see it? I seen the restitution form. The restitution form. Yes. But anyway, Miss Ward, we're beside the point. You're not going to sit here and express your opinion to me to change. To, 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 to change. I'm not. You're, we're not going to change our opinion. So let's go ahead and get your stuff. We'll move on out, and you can file all your complaints and lawsuits and everything tomorrow. Uh, why the, the good court? faith, though. I'm about to go get my um, blankets and pull up. The good faith. This is what you said the, the court gave you, right? It says right there, sir, please just be a law enforcement officer right now. It says this is not a court order when, move out. When, when is, no, when, when is this This dated? is what they put the, on the door, just the 22nd. You're right, but this red one here, mm -hmm. this is from the sheriff's department, right. and it says this is an illegal eviction. Mm -hmm. If you enter the property, it constitutes trespass, which is where we're at right now. But it is dated the date that I... You can ignore the top of it. That's the, the no, judge's No, what order. I'm going off of is the sheriff's department, because I don't have all the information. But you're only not have part of a document. I'm not going to look. The whole document is the red thing. That, this is all the stuff that, so that you. So you're purposely not this, reading where it says no statutory or stipulated physical move out included in this court order. Physical move out means you cannot move me physically out. This is a civil matter. Okay, Miss Ward. Miss Ward, those are all because actions. You see him, right? Those Taylor, are. You see him ignoring this court order and only looking at one part. This is how rapid parents are. This is how racketeering going. Y'all, I'm bringing all y'all asses up on Rico. This shit ain't about no apartment. This is about no You guys want to start grabbing some of her property? Constantly taking advantage of Aboriginal people 
and spill their shit. Now I don't already pay for this, just like this is my land y'all when I ain't supposed to be here. So Miss Ward, what can this young man and this young lady help with? Help you assist with getting your what? When what can they take out to help assist you here? I'm bringing it to the thing for that. Okay. What about stuff up here? We're taking too much of their time, so they want to rush me to get my shit because they know that they're illegally evicting me. They want me to get out, just like that last one who didn't show that paperwork. You ain't got no paperwork. You ain't got no paperwork, and I feel like not Jay. Y'all be so fucking scared of them, but I'm not. I'm not. And I feel like you being my child, you watching me give in to them ain't the right message to give you. You know your mother. The only thing I really need from here is my court documents. That's it. Where's the court documents? Taylor just took it. What about the application was in the box? They look like they were court documents as well. You know how to get myself. You cannot touch anything in that bathroom. I don't touch anything. Just remind me to give you that court documents there. Thank you. It's so interesting that all you white people can come to this country and live your best life, but all the niggas out here are struggling and being robbed. <laughs> and y'all have the fucking nerve. To be cool with it. Look at you. Turn it red. <laughs> that white guilt in it. This, how is this different than when y'all killed us and moved us? You said we ain't on the shit then either. Poor Colorado. My wrath. My wrath on y'all. Look what you got me doing. I said I don't fix that. You said, I don't give a fuck, you didn't know, I'm gonna lock you up. Lock me up. <laughs> lock me up. If she put my shit out, you know what? I'm gonna, I want that, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do a citizen's arrest. That's what the fuck I'm gonna do on everybody. Cause you know I could do that, right? I could lock you up right now. Cause what you're doing right now is illegal. You're committing RICO. So I have to put a citizen's arrest on you, and then you, and then you are going to try to shoot me if I do that. But technically, I can lock your ass up for extorting me. You're all a part of this racketeering. You're extorting me. Leave him. When you leave, you give up a security interest in the property. That's why they don't want me here. That's why they don't want me here. Well, thank you for arriving so quickly. I'm not fucking with it. I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all have to take your fucking extortion. And the first move to put me in handcuffs, not that you're going to get your fucking fiance, but put the next one in fucking handcuffs. Get the bullshit. I'm sick of this fucking shit. Y'all fucking keep on stealing from us. You keep stealing from us. You keep stealing from us. Even with legal documents, you still steal it from us. You feel nothing about it. You feel nothing about what you did. Nothing at all. And you make me look like a fucking savage. Like a savage. Like a savage. I'm not scared of y'all. I ain't scared of y'all. I am not scared of y'all. Get out. No. We're not doing that. Don't you come in here with that shit. For what? Please can get shot by these cops. No, we didn't come to SBS. Is it your mom? This is my mom. So, I'm sorry, I appreciate you coming over and talking about doing a physical time, right? Did you really want to be here right now? Why are you wait outside? I'm not going to wait outside. I'm sorry, that's not happening. Yeah, so, I need to my mother. You might not have to be fine, but I want you to get an argument with her this evening where she's going to look after you. Okay. My mother is bipolar. Okay. She is manic right now. She has, clearly, she cannot control her anger. What you saying about the what? You're bipolar. You have oh. mania right now. Do you not have bipolar? We need to get you out of this house. Wow. Wow. When your own child comes in in front of the cops and say you have bipolar because you're fighting for your rights. 
You are not the right, right person to be here. here. I'm getting my stuff. So you need to get out. No, I'm not getting out. No. I'm then sorry. keep your mouth closed. You. Okay, I'll keep my mouth closed. In a world of me being alone, I would still go up against y'all. I don't fear y'all. If I had one of my children, if I had one of my Why? Is it bothering you? You see me get my stuff, and you still talking about please, because you want me to be quiet. You want me to be quiet when I'm doing it. I don't know if there's a TV in there or not. We got the door for him. On my business card, I put the reference number for this situation. Also, the deputy that did the eviction, I took his name and information on my card as well. So, I still don't want to pull the tail when he's done and tell me to shut up. Anybody give me no grip. That's who he gave me the information for. In case y'all want to know, he got some crazy bipolar mother. Bipolar? <laughs> you said that shit. You said that shit. Oh, you know, we think everything's a betrayal, Mom. You don't ever understand that I'm literally always here to help you. Ever. If you were here to help me, then you would fight with me instead of telling me to fuck with you. That's my enemy, then I'm a problem. No, because you don't understand how you can the situation. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to watch my mom get shot by no police, though. I think y'all bang on that, don't y'all? You bang on that? The kids tell their parents don't fight back? My mother didn't tell us all the other two dads, but one thing mother wanted. I think that's not important for her. Is the property management coming? No, the state would be this evening, now. Are they coming here to this house tonight is the question? No. So if the property manager did come here tonight and I asked y'all to lock her up for extortion, would you do it? No. You, so you wouldn't. I would take not it, but do I'm it. I'm telling you that the absolute truth and I can prove and lock her up, but something that's not proven at all. You're, you just said you will lock me up. You just told me if I don't leave something that I own and I just prove it to you. Miss Ward, Miss Ward, we, lock, just yes or no. we've had you this said conversation. You would lock me up, yes or no? I gave you options and you chose. One of the options is leave or get locked up. Yes or no? no the, that's one of two options. That is correct. To get, to, yes, to get, to get arrested. Yes. To get arrested. Because, well, because, 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 because you are here illegally as of right now. But I'm not here illegally as of right now. And I told you. The court doesn't have it. There's no court. You can't see it. You said I'm going to do it the right way. Can I speak again? You said I'm going to do it the right way. May I'm going to go check the records because you came back and said the records are suppressed. You couldn't Ms. see Ward, it. Miss Ward, can I speak again? Okay. Like I informed you, the information that I have, the bad thing is, yes, you would get arrested right now. 
if you did not if you did not want to leave. You would get arrested right now, and you'd be fighting the same battle yeah. you're fighting tomorrow. Only you'd also be fighting criminal charges as well. But what does the landlord get? You're saying that you can lock me up for Arrest you. somebody said I committed. You're here. I told you. I went and looked up information, and everything that I looked at, everything I looked at, says that you are here illegally. You were evicted March 22nd, and you have no legal right to be here from that day forward. And that's, I've, not, I've, I've told you everything. I've not hidden anything from you. I've given you all the information that I've got, and I told you the, inf the, the information I have is what I have to move on, what I have to go forward with, and that's, that's why, and like I, I said, I, I appreciate you taking this and, and leaving instead of going right. down the other route, because you don't, you, you don't, I do. Why is that though? Why? Because you don't want to lock Because you've got enough headaches as is without me or my partners arresting you as well, right? Feel though personally as a man going against the law that you're sworn to protect. Actually, I'm doing what you think is right. That is correct. So did y'all when y'all took our land? Y'all thought that was right too. It's okay. We just have a difference of opinion on what's right and what's wrong. Um, so when I have to deal with y'all, I'll take it personal. It's just what I think is right. But I don't think this is right. I know that y'all are doing something illegal. I know that I can lock y'all up right now. I know I can. And you know the law. You know I can put you under sentence and arrest, yes? Is that true? No. I can read you the statute. I can read you the statute. There's a new Ooh. statute for new cops. You do not have blanket immunity for anything. You cannot just do what you want. I've already said I have a disability. I have both my rights for ADA agent. You did not give it. My daughter came in here and told you I had a disability. You don't care. And you're still telling me you're going to lock me up. You're not following any of the law, just like you're, you're not partners, the sheriff's department. So I can lock you up right now. So I'm telling you to turn around and place your hands behind your back. Will you do it? No. But you want me to do it, right? No, I don't. You want me to do it. You do. You just said you're going to lock me up if I don't leave. Y'all gonna be lucky my daughter right now. This one's not going this way. And that's why she came here, because she knows this is not going this way. Because I'm definitely not here to get shot by y'all cops. It's what you do. It's what you do. You've already killed me in multiple lives. And I'm ready to die for this shit, because I'm not letting y'all take nothing else from me. Hmm. No, leave that meat. Where I'm going to take that meat on the street. Where I'm going to take the meat and the food on the street. They got rid of all of my furniture, threw my shit out, because that's what they do. Don't worry about it. We'll put it away. If I let my kids be, see me being a bitch like their ancestors, I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. Y'all go ahead and take my shit out. Yeah. Go ahead. Wait, well, I'm good, y'all. Y'all can go. No. So I think this is the last of the stuff, so we can all leave together. Sounds good. What are we doing? That's what I don't know. That's what I said. I don't know. I'm not going with y'all. So y'all can do what y'all need to do. You're not taking me to the hotel. They're doing an illegal action illegally, and y'all are conceding. Put the knife down. 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 Put
Why are you now sitting now you making me very uncomfortable acting like that when my kids hear all these stuff? I'm getting my stuff that you told I'm not going nowhere, though. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. Okay. That was a reason for those oh, fucking shoot me, but don't read Okay, we have to talk about it. Hey, we have to talk about it. Okay, 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 we have to talk about it. What the fuck are you doing tonight with all these guns in here? Woo! Let's go. Where am I knife at? Because I'm not leaving it. Okay, thank you. I was just saying that we're coming we're, we're coming right behind you. We're coming right behind you. Just walk out so we can go. I'm gonna walk out so y'all can go. You go. I'm not going nowhere. Come on, let's go. No. I'll wait for you to go first. Mm-hmm. Get in the way of locking this. Okay. Okay. What's your name again? Uh, Officer Salter. Scott Hallis. Right. I did try to warn y'all. Okay. I'm gonna walk with you to your vehicle. He knows. Look at the look at the senior officer. He knows. Listen, little girl, if I'm fucking embarrassing you, you stay away from me. I am embarrassing you. You embarrass me by going against me in front of these damn white people. Don't tell me to shut up. You're not. You owe me more than that. 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 You owe me you know you're doing something illegal. You know you are. And I told you the process, start tomorrow to work it out. But you do realize tonight, your illegal action leaves me on the street. No, ma'am. I won't. Call me stupid. You choose your choices, I'm going to choose my choices as a grown woman.
When you guys get someplace where mom's a little more calmed down, yeah. will you ask the daughter to explain to the mom if she comes back here, she will be arrested? Well, that's not for me to tell her. Like, I don't want to tell her because I, if I do, I know that will rile mom right back up. But so I'm just, just saying, that's not my my plan. I hear you. I understand too. All right. You guys really work. Like, I read the paperwork and I agree with her, and she's legally supposed to be in there. And legally, you guys, we're not supposed to pick her out. No, uh, this is something that needs to she needs to take up with the court because all the information, you guys all the information on, you guys I went. On old information to kick her out. I, I read the paperwork. So. I, mean, I, I don't disagree with her. I think maybe she's going wrong about it the wrong way, but I think you guys are honestly in the wrong. But that's just my opinion. My opinion don't and really mean. She needs she needs to work it out with court because all the information that I looked up tonight, she was evicted. Watch my phone up here. You guys want me to hang out? You guys good? I think we're okay. If you want to vacate. Have a, a lot of patience on that one. All right, buddy. You have a good night. Thank you, pal. Oh, me in the area. Okay. All right. Okay, so while we're waiting for someone to get here so we can just change the locks very quickly, uh, you said he was nearly here? Okay, perfect, yes. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Do you have any questions for us? I don't. I really appreciate your time. Um, stay safe. No worries at all. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. Okay. Thank you. All right, bye, bye now. I'm going to just stay recording. Stop recording. Okay. Recording. Um, so yeah, Lockman is like literally here. He's like the maintenance manager here. Um, yeah, you can just bring a lock from a different. Yeah. Is she still on scene? They're still out there. Okay. I went to uh, one of the guys and I said, "Hey, would you do us a favor? And when you get her to a different location and she calms down, would you let her know? Please don't come back here." Well, it was a success really. She's out, no fault. Yeah. 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 No, good. Yeah. As of right now, it's still. I know it's right out there on the zone. No, he he left. left. Okay. So he said because the knife is in his glove compartment box now. So there went one car. In the red one, right? The red one. Okay. Yeah, but I think she got into a different one. Okay. Might have been the second one to left.
Oh, yeah, puppy. Yeah, puppy. So cutie. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> Ace, you said? Yeah, it's Ace. Oh my god, so cute. What is he? He's just a pistol. They're adorable when they're small. <laughs> All right. Ace, how are you doing? Good. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Sorry to call you out so late. 